It's a photo, then we go to the article. Should be the first thing. Uh, can you hide us really quick? Just hide us. <laughs> so this is an article. <laughs> Plus-sized women admit they aren't attracted to overweight men. And Nick, if you could tab oh over. Oh, my God. Facts. So this is the <laughs> article, whisper.com. Nick, if you can just scroll down. Um, actually, scroll back up. I'll just read it. Can you uh, mouse wheel control up so it make it a little bigger? Yeah, that's good. As a plus-sized woman, there's this expectation that you should only date overweight men. Oh, can, you can show us on the right side. Um, but what if you aren't attracted to plus-sized men? Uh, sorry. These women open up about dealing with the stigma of being plus-sized and refusing to settle and date overweight men. From dealing with harsh <laughs> criticisms to feelings of guilt for their preferences, find out what they had to say in all these, in, excuse me, in these tell-all confessions. Scroll down. I'll just read the first one. Uh, sometimes I feel guilty because I'm not attracted to bigger guys even though I'm plus size myself. I find it rare to find a big guy that takes care of his appearance and hygiene the way I do. Scroll Wait down. a minute, what the hell? I'll just do read one more. I'm a plus sized woman but I'm not attracted to big guys. I get a lot of hate and criticism for it but I can't help that I like average to muscular type types. So on that topic, okay. do you guys have a reaction to that? And also just what's your type? Do you like bigger guys you like plus size men or I have an immediate reaction even in sorry just even in like when they're writing she says settle for a, a plus size person they're assuming just because that you like someone who's not plus size that then you're settling for someone who is plus size that's already like a negative connotation you can be attracted to whatever you are attracted to without yes. putting another thing down like when I'm talking to a man and usually the men I talk to, yeah, they're fit bodied men. I'm attracted to athletic men. I was athletic growing up my entire life. I was also like 212 as a competitive figure skater, beating girls who were much smaller than me. So I'm always attracted to things that I do. I like to run every day. I like to work out. I like to work out. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'm attracted to men that are like that. And, and I cow. feel like it's okay to just like what you like because they're obviously still attracted to me too with their shape. You just gotta mm -hmm. like what you like. Getting what's going on youtube is your boy ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe and hopefully by the end of this video you're not confused because a few minutes in i already am because this woman said she likes to work out and i'm looking at her like where in the kitchen McDonald's, Burger King, because, um, ma'am, you got the, um, lunch lady arms. I, ha, ha. I, come on now. Oh, my goodness, bro. And then, of course, we got, then, of course, we got the infamous, um, I need WD, I need WD-40 for my lips, um, lady over here. And then this lady here, I don't know who she is, but we gonna see what they talking about. Let's keep it moving. Where you fit in. Yeah, I feel like for me, um, I don't really have a type I because I really am attracted to um, a man that I uh, like on an intellectual like mental emotional like all the other things you would connect with a human being with I feel like I'm more attracted to that versus their looks and when I think about like plus size guys and like athletic guys or fit guys I can only really speak from like my experience and it feels like the guys that come after me or the guys that are like showing interest are like gym bros like super fit yeah. super athletic really? yeah yes. they all they are in my girls. dm like wow. they're just like coming at me and i'm just like well that's weird so i'm i guess i tend to date go more to like <laughs> either know. tall skinny lanky athletic Bruh. or you know just fit body types because those are the ones yeah brian i i, I made the same face Bruh ones who are talking to me i haven't yet like really had a plus like many plus size guys mm -hmm. kind of show interest in me i did date maybe one or two or i went on a couple dates with one or two so i'm not opposed to it i'm just kind of whatever is offered like whatever is um pursuing is i guess is what i'm paying attention to and the comment about their hygiene not being good i've dated two really fit guys with six packs and they stunk and i'm just like <laughs> so it's really just not the plus That's size people like i think yeah. like it's, there's some smelly yeah. guys out there and they're fit so 
you know what? I got to keep it a buck, man. I can't even disagree with her on that. I was in the gym earlier, man, and this dude came next to me doing some tricep pushdowns, and this smell hit my nose. I'm over here like, like, bro, you funky as hell, man. Like, so, yeah, I can't even knock the yeah, because when I was reading it off at first, I was thinking to myself, like, anybody can have bad hygiene. I don't got shit to do with whether you big or not. I literally just experienced that this morning at the gym. Hell nah. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. Oh. <laughs> and you have to understand a lot of plus size people also don't necessarily have confidence in themselves. Mm -hmm. So where they won't judge themselves, they'll be okay to judge someone else. Usually that kind of thing is projection. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. what they're feeling on their inside. So yeah. for that person, to, with those plus size women to then degrade what they also are at the same time, it seems like just a little bit of self-hate and boost your, you know, your self-esteem and that kind of thing will be said. Right. So for you, it sounds like you would have no problem dating a plus size guy, but the guys that are coming to you that are hitting on you, you there's been a few plus size guys, but it sounds like it's mostly you're getting like just kind of regular size, yeah. even fit guys, you know, so. Mm -hmm, yeah. So with me, I like to, I'm attracted to guys that I, they can inspire me. So kind of what the article said, I agree. I, as a plus size girl, wouldn't date someone who's plus size. Mm. Um, because why, why is that? Because I want a guy who I can look at and admire and be like, oh, you know, like, I would like to be that way. You're, I would like to date someone who's fit, obviously, because I want them to be strong and, you know, all this stuff. But yeah, I guess it, it kind of seems hypocritical. Yes. Yes. Because some people are like, well, you're plus size should date someone who's plus size or you should at least consider it and it's like yeah but you know we are we have our preferences and i would like to date someone who is fit because i can ad admire them they can also help me improve in my fitness journey because i truly believe that when you're in a relationship with someone you two you influence each other so much and i will like someone who can kind of help me in an area that maybe i'm struggling in but what if bruh you can't make this shit up <laughs> Hey, I paused it there on accident, but my goodness, bro. Brian, I, I feel your pain, bro. I'm sharing the exact same reaction inside, bro. Promise me, man. I promise you. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. I mean, yeah, I know that comes off very hip hypocritical, man. Women are walking contradictions, man. Half of the shit that come out of y'all fucking mouth is hypocritical. This ain't new, nor are men surprised by this. But you wanna know what really pisses men off when it comes to shit like this? Is that you sit over here and say, I mean, that, that's, your, that's just my standards and that's just my preferences and da 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 da. But if a man my age, 38, said, I only wanna date women between the ages of 21 to, I don't know, 26 majority of y'all women would probably think something was wrong with me y'all would probably say i'm a pedo or all kind of shame and language like Ugh, why you want to date a woman so much younger than you and da -da 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 -da. which by the way i've pretty much only dated women in that age range since i started traveling overseas <gasps> but i digress for you to sit over here and try to say oh those those are my preferences and he the point that I'm getting at is that she is basically being one with her nature. You understand what I'm saying? Most women are going to be attracted to fit, muscular men. Men know this. That's why there's always more men in the gym than there are women. That's why statistically there are more fit men than there are women. Men know this. See, men do what they need to do in order, in order to compete. The problem is the bar has been raised so low for women that we got BBWs on a, talk, a dating podcast with over 4 million viewers and all these BBWs over here talking about they getting top tier caliber type dudes. Get the French toast out of here. So basically these women feel entitled to an, a relationship to these kind of men because these men probably had a slow Tuesday and they thought oh you know she a big girl you know what I mean she know she know she dating up dealing with me you know what I mean she'll you know what I mean 
she'll go ahead and let I mean she'll go ahead and top me off real quick and you know I'll keep her on a back burner if I ever you know if I ever have another slow night again in my opinion I think these are the kind of men that they're dealing with y'all are dealing with men that got options and they and you happen to be that slow Tuesday just my opinion let me know what y'all think that could be y'all might be thinking different but at the same time I gotta hold those men accountable as well because y'all are the reason why women who look like this feel entitled to these kind of men because y'all giving them the time of day I mean you know I mean because y'all giving them the time of day and we all know women tend to confuse sexual attraction with relationship attraction I'm like no no matter how much we try to tell them otherwise but like I say man women are walking contradictions bro well, well what are you gonna do man I'm like may maybe I should continue that series man I don't know man <laughs> for real Ugh. stuff coming out like this man it'll be endless Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Traveling Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape, Lost Music Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, Spreadshot.com link is in the description as well. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.